Are you serious? Of all the places to go to for a Christmas cabin, you choose Colorado? You can't tell me that it's not hilarious. It's not. They're actively suppressing the people's voice. Colorado is under a communist regime. Road goes both ways, Don. They deemed you a threat to the Constitution due to your involvement in January 6th. Semantics. In all seriousness, it does pose a moral and a constitutional problem. But do you really think I'm worried about that near Christmas? Typical liberals cheating to win. Donald, it's the holiday season. We reserve this nice log cabin for some old man time. And especially with the Christmas decor, try to have a little bit of holiday spirit. Isn't it a bit weird that three old men went to a remote cabin alone? It's 2023, there's no such thing as friends anymore. You're older than a bucket of mayonnaise and you got your mind thinking like that. Clean that filth out, Donald. It's Christmas. Tell that to the AI art developers. So are we gonna just sit here and talk like old men or what? What else do you want us to do, Joe? We're three old men sitting in a log cabin where our security is surrounding the perimeter. What fun can I have? Unless they left a sniper here and I can dink Rudolph off of his flight path. I remember when I used to believe in Santa Claus, I would practically pee my pants if I heard the word naughty list. I do that when someone's cutting prunes. What do you mean used to believe? He's not the Loch Ness monster, he's real flesh and blood. Flesh and blood? Donald, don't tell me that you still believe in Santa. You sound lactose intolerant, Obama. You can't believe in someone you met. It just means they're a real person. You're telling me you met Santa Claus? Absolutely I did. Gave him the firmest handshake he'll ever have. The firmest in the world. And where exactly did you meet Santa? During the Home Alone 2 shooting. He was in a big red chair with a bunch of presents around him. It was near the hotel that Macaulay Culkin was staying at. Sounds like they just hired a standalone Santa actor. No, he was in disguise. He was wearing a gray button-down shirt with big suspenders, and he had tattered black boots on with an overcoat on his back. Sounds like they just hired a homeless man. Is that why he was missing teeth? No, that's just New York, but uh, that could also be a reason. So you're telling me that I have a couple of Santa deniers on my hands, is that right? No, you have a couple of adults on your hands. If you're telling me Santa isn't real, then who eats all my cookies and milk at night? I think that's just your midnight snacks, Donald. Then what about the fat man that belly laughs at every joke and tries to be too funny? Still you, Don. Or Peter Griffin. Then who's going around breaking into everyone's houses and taking food? Uh, are you doing this to yourself on purpose or something? I will not be a victim of the anti-Santa propaganda that you are pushing. This conversation is over. Did you see him take the plate of cookies? Joe, he took the whole pan. Pathetic. Those scummy skeptics can't even grasp the simplicity that is the truth of Santa. What Joe Biden is doing to this country is a plague. Ho, ho, ho. See, I told them. I told them Santa was real. Merry Christmas. Hey, Santa, come down here so I can prove these liberal losers wrong. Were you the guy talking about shooting my reindeer? I mean, yeah, but all they have here is a sawed off. Wait, what are you doing with that gun? Say, Joe, this is possibly the best hot cocoa I've ever tasted. And that's saying something. Well, thank you, Barack. It's a secret family recipe that I recalled during the plane ride here. Now, if only Don was done being Ebenezer Scrooge, we could have a holly jolly Christmas. Well, I think he's more like Jacob Marley now.